Hello, my name is Absent Ghost, aka Austin. Well, my name is Austin, but I go by Absent Ghost. Call me Ghosty, call me Ghost Butt. You know, whatever you want to. But, uh, yeah, this is my, like, first official studio tour or whatever. It's not really much of a studio, it's mostly just my bedroom. But, you know, who has a studio anymore? Anyway, uh, so yeah, y'all can just kind of see how I make my beats and music and stuff. So I do most of everything from this couch right here. Uh, there's my little Grim Reaper guy. And uh, yeah, from here I can kind of reach, you know, everything that I have um, as far as like equipment or stuff. And I don't really have to like wander around my room too much. So this is my computer. This is my baby. Um, yeah, it's like an old, macbook air uh, i think it's like a late 2015 uh but yeah it's uh it's not too fancy it gets the job done uh, i don't really do too too much that would eat up the ram or whatever but anyway, down here i got um got my ableton got reapers i do a lot of garage man honestly because it's free and it came with the mac so uh we can i'll talk about a little bit more about that later but Right now, <clears throat> this is basically the brains of everything that I do when I'm doing synth stuff. Uh, I mean, this whole table is kind of generally what I do most of my stuff on. Like, I can't afford, you know, rack units and all that stuff. Like, and honestly, you don't really need them. Like, a lot of the, like, a lot of the stuff that I've gathered is basically like i run synths through it and i can you know you can run pretty much anything through it like that you would need to and i mean everything else is in software so so yeah this uh you know it's the arturia key step it's got i think it's a key step 32 uh yeah and um yeah i can do all my modulation it's got a sequencer it's got a latch it's got an arpeggio built in, but the sequencer is really cool because if you see back here, it's got all this connectability. So those are the outputs with like CV outputs, sustain pedal, the sync in and out, MIDI. Those are your dip switches for determining where the clock is coming from or going to. So in this case, I have it. So every all clocks are running from the key step. And then I've got, the CVs out running into the VCF, or the, no, the gate in, VCO, uh, FM in, and the VCF CV in. And these two synths are kind of the backbone of like the synth stuff that I do. Uh, I got a core bolt of keys that I got forever ago. And I bought these, I bought these, these, and these. Um, this was like, 200 this was like two three hundred this was one something but yeah i got the workshot which basically is just i got it because it's a moog uh so you get that moog filter sound but you don't need to buy like a three thousand dollar synth you can just get this and you know it works fine like uh, with all these cvs and patch connections you can really make a bunch of wild stuff with this and then over here with the bulk of keys this was the first one I got. You can see it's all stained up and stuff because there's no wine on it. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, this thing is battery powered, and I got this going out with the effects chain. But, uh, I can control both of these through this because this is being controlled by MIDI. I could also do it with sync, but right now it's for MIDI. And <clears throat> the CV is going into the mode which has a couple of tuning issues sometimes because this is just a bare bone synthesizer. But, uh, you know, this one, uh, into that. but uh, this one's, you know, pretty solid. And it's MIDI, so you don't really have to worry about it. All right, and then from there, the way it's set up is the Volca right now is running into this uh, 
CS3 compressor out of that into this 10 band EQ that I got on Amazon for like like 30 bucks maybe and then it goes into this uh, Klon clone that I built and you can see it goes down here and this Octavio which is like an Octifuzz that I just bought because whatever it was cheap it was on sale at Guitar Center and this multi mod which is really cool because it's got all of these different um, modulation effects and you can adjust the like the mix and the rate and the depth and so you can do all of that and you don't even need to like have separate flangers like what the fuck ever like just use that that goes out into the delay because you always have your modulation or your time base last this Aquarius one's cool it's got a bunch of delays it was also super cheap I love the Joyo stuff now I'll do another K-line pedal which is the snake bite which is it's a crazy reverb, like it's just, like everything you just manually pick it, like there's no presets or anything, but you know, that's just really fun to mess around with and it can get super trippy. So yeah, I love that. And then I go out to here. This is the Akai EIE interface. Um, it's like a four in, four out interface. And it's really nice because I can, you know, pretty much do anything that I would do, but it's got all these, uh, it's got all these inputs and I could, you know, fear it's got four more in the back. So theoretically I could do drums or like kind of a band if I did all the drums and then did the rest of the band tracked. But yeah, this has USB and just hooks, in, hooks up to my laptop, which I usually kind of prop up somewhere. And that is, you know, that's the kind of, brands of everything that goes through because right now in output one and two or input one and two i have the record player left and right out right now it's got selena on it hell yeah but um i have it set up like this because a lot of times i like to sample records and stuff when i make you know my silly little beats and stuff and what i can do is like if i have something cool on my vinyl or like some cool vinyl that I found that I want to take a chunk of, I can just, instead of using like an MPC or something, I just run it into this and then I can fuck with it in Ableton, which, um, you know, I've been kind of messing around with for a little while. And then, yeah, I just got some Samson little studio monitors. They're like a hundred something, you know, random, random tape machines, uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is my subwoofer, which is super janky. I got it from a thrift store. It was like somebody's high, like not even hi-fi. It was somebody's like TV surround sound speakers, some shitty surround sound speakers. And it's got um, this audio in. And, you know, I think it's that like super janky cheap brand. But yeah, it was a subwoofer. I got the whole thing. Thing. I just threw away the other speakers and kept this subwoofer and I got it for like five bucks So I was like, you know what? Fuck it for a subwoofer That's not bad and I know it's not you know High quality studio stuff. I know it's not You know Probably not technically correct, but Just for like basically like when I'm mixing and I want to make sure I've got some sub bass You know, it's perfect Forgive my laundry, but Another, a thing that I hoard like a motherfucker is amps and guitars. Like I've got two guitars, which we'll go into, or three really. But, um, you know, as the musician person in my family, uh, people just find things and they just give it to me. Like I got this Fender Frontman 212R from my girlfriend's dad. <clears throat> he just gave it to me. No, he gave it to her to give to me for Christmas. And yeah, I just cleaned up the pots, you know, cleaned it up. I don't really use it super much because it's super loud. You know, two 12s in it, it's crazy, but it's got the built-in reverb, which I got maxed out because I'm a little trippy and stuff. But yeah, I love this amp. Uh, you know, one day if I ever play a show or something, it'd be nice to have. And then over here, I got this little baby orange I forgot what it's called, Crush 12, little baby orange amp. Yeah, and it's got, uh, you know, it's just like a little mini practice cube. 
What's great about it is it's got that headphone app. Right? The headphone out up at the top right there. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> and that's what's, what's cool about that is I can use that as like a preamp. When I'm recording guitars or synths or anything, I can run it through my effects over here and then I can run it into that. And then I can run that into the interface as a line input and I can get that nice orange sound without having to mic it or anything. Like, cause I don't even really have mics. Uh, but yeah, that guy's really cool. Over here, we got the Epiphone Valve Jr. Xbox. Uh, <laughs> this guy's massive. He was over by where I have my records now, but this thing is just a beast. You know, it's just this little hot uh, valve amp. It's the only tube amp I have. And I just put it over here by the bookcase, um, I mean the dresser, and it's crazy because it's like, it's a proper little amp, it's just, it's so loud, I can't even turn it up past here without, uh, you know, blowing the walls down, so, you know, I got it over here, and I use it every so often, and I plan on micing it up and recording with it at some point, it's just, as of right now, he's just gotta sit in the Xbox. What are you gonna do? My yarns, um, I also crochet. But over here is the vinyl vault, basically. Not even a vault, but basically, it's set up to things I've listened to, things I haven't. And it's only tangentially related to the studio because I basically use this in conjunction with a record player to like sample and stuff and plus i got my you know i've just got extra pedals down here i got a russian big mouth one of the old ones got an old cry baby old ds1 and a loop station um those just don't really have a place in the chain right now because i've already got two dirts and i don't need another dirt but yeah wawa's cool uh ds1's cool loop station's cool i love that big mouth it's just very fiddly and i need to clean the pots on it but you know, it's good. And then most of these are just kind of junk records. I'm still kind of picking through them. Child Rich, what's up? Commodores, you can see that back there. A couple of 45s, Rick James. But yeah, this is just kind of the vinyl vault. And when I run it through the record player into the nice studio monitors and the audio interface, it sounds pretty nice. It's not highway. It's not like techno or anything, but it gets the job done. Bonus mention of my yarns. I mention a crochet and it's just a yarn hoard and we also got cameras here behind the yo-yos no oh, omega distortion this thing is just a new metal machine it just makes crunchy new metal that's all it does so finally um and this is an album i've got two more guitars coming because i get my girlfriend's dad it's like do you want these so i got like uh, like an Epiphone, Les Paul, and like some sort of like little shred stick that he's giving me. But as for guitars, this is my most recent one. It's a glary thin line telly knockoff thing. Uh, I keep it, I usually just have a capo because, uh, you know, I'm trying to be like this is probably usually emo kind of stuff that I'm not very good at. But yeah, it's like super nice, super light. Um, I'm really happy with the finish and stuff. I only paid like $129 for it. Nothing I've, uh, nothing I've bought is over like $500. So, it's crazy. And like, with the amount of stuff that I've gotten for free, um, it's nuts. Be the musician kid, because he a lot of stuff. And then, This is my baby. This is my first guitar. This is my favorite guitar. I would go back to it. I just recently set it up. Uh, you know, got the action looking nice. I uh, put nines on it. And I put, this is a new pick guard. It's like Texas Hot or something. You can see, like, I don't know if you can see that. But it's got, like, the middle pole pieces are, like, raised. And it's just got, like, a really nice tone to it now kind of fix some of the buzzing i mean it's a strat so it's gonna buzz but you know it's pretty cool it's a starcaster i got this on my 16th birthday uh 
my mom's former husband bought it for me for my 16th birthday and turns out he was a piece of shit so but I still got my guitar hey. oh yeah this is the one I uh, brought with me to college uh, when I was studying to be a music tech major which is a bachelor of science which I had a nervous breakdown and I pretty much flunked out my senior year uh, and proceeded to fuck around for several years but finally getting back into it finally doing something with what I've learned and hopefully it's nice and then one more right now I'll have to do an update when I'm better at this it's another free guitar another well, half a guitar. It's a cigar box guitar. It's probably not in tune. Oh, maybe a little bit. It's in G, which should be. Uh, it's a cigar box slide guitar. It's cool because it plugs into an amp, so I can run it through effects and do wild, crazy stuff with it. Uh, I'm not gonna play any now, but yeah, uh, I got this for my birthday because my mom couldn't figure out what else to do, and I think this was just. The only thing she could afford at the moment. And I was like, cool, I give me instrument. And then, yeah, uh, I've just got other audio toys, stuff that I can just record and make stuff with, like <laughs> Cam Thunder. Well, that's pretty much that for right now. This will change. Um, we're going to be. Hope, I mean, eventually we'll have a new space and hopefully I can have something that's not my bedroom because CGP Cray says, don't have the place where you work, be the place where you sleep. And I think that's pretty good advice. Um, and I hope you had fun checking out what I got. If you have any questions, there's not really any of you out there. But, you know, if this gets a couple views, you can just ask me stuff in the comments or whatever. Uh... Yeah, I hope you had fun. I had fun. Um, I'm trying to think of anything. I can't think of anything else. Um, but yeah, if there's anything weird that caught your eye, just let me know. And I love you.